Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. Uh, you're still watching The Breakfast Show live on Nile TV International. It's now time for a second topic of discussion for today. And we're going to be talking about the charitable work being done and implemented in Ramadan and achieving the goals of uh, We Are One initiative. And to shed more light on this topic, we're most delighted to be joined over the phone by Dr. Amani Shinewi, head of one of the civil society associations. A very good morning, uh, Dr. Amani and Ramadan Karim. Good morning. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Doctor. Uh, first of all, if you can shed the light on uh, the main objectives and uh, the aim of the We Are One initiative and its accomplishments so far. Uh, the We In One uh, initiative is a part of a decent life in initiative initiated by uh, our president, Abdel Fattah al Sisi. Uh, the main objective of the main in one is uh, uh, serving our community. It is working in a very scientific way. Everything is studied, uh, community assessment uh, to reach the most needy Egyptians, um, uh, Egyptians among Egypt in rural areas, villages, and all governorates. Uh, the, Dr. Amani, also, if you can uh, tell us more about uh, the, ro the general uh, role of the civil societies in uh, uh, Egypt and, of course, uh, their specific role when it comes to Ramadan and uh, all the charity work and uh, um, serving or working for the most vulnerable. Uh, NGOs are play uh, playing uh, a, a great role in Egypt. They are uh, distributed among uh, people uh, in communities. Uh, so uh, uh, every, com uh, every uh, NGO uh, is uh, having its uh, uh, services in the community. Now they are, uh, most of them are connected with the uh, Haya Karima initiative by President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. So they are working in uh, a general umbrella, an Egyptian umbrella. Uh, serving the community, uh, uh, having uh, community assessment and uh, knowing the most needy people among the, the country uh, is uh, helping to uh, reach uh, the most needy people. Uh, so this is uh, clearly, uh, 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 it's, it's clear uh, in the last uh, uh, services uh, done by uh, the NGOs all over Egypt, uh, especially during the, the, uh, the holy month of Ramadan. Uh, Dr. Amani, as uh, you're leading one of the uh, civil society uh, associations uh, in Egypt, uh, in your opinion, what is the most uh, important uh, intervention that is provided by uh, NGOs and institutions to the underprivileged? Uh, I'm a member uh, in uh, an international uh, organization uh, of services. We are serving everywhere. So uh, leadership in our uh, association is rotating. Uh, I'm, uh, I was uh, a president of uh, a club among one, 126 clubs in the organization. And I'm a member serving a uh, community uh, in uh, uh, a very uh, scientific way, uh, having areas of focus to work on and uh, serving community uh, in uh, services like uh, connecting wa uh, water to needy houses, uh, uh, disease prevention. Uh, all this is done in the same way uh, as Haya Karima and under the umbrella uh, of uh, the old society working together. Uh, so uh, now uh, in the initiative of Haya Karima, we are uh, working as partners, as NGOs. We are partners uh, 
uh, with the, the governor, uh, government and businessmen. Those are the three partners of Hayat Karima. Uh, in uh, our association, we are having a community assessment for every single project uh, to reach people who are needy and to uh, uh, have our targets uh, done uh, in our areas of focus, which are uh, almost the same as Hayat Karima. Uh, serving communities. Uh, and as what can fail uh, in Ramadan project, uh, okay. did, uh, uh, finished the target of uh, 350,000 uh, uh, Ramadan boxes uh, among all Egypt for the community needing uh, the most. Uh, at the same time, we are distributing uh, boxes of Ramadan in uh, very needy communities too. So uh, the services are the same and the efforts are joined. Yeah, uh, can we shed more light, uh, Dr. Amani, on the uh, charitable work that is mainly done uh, during the month of uh, giving and sharing with others the holy month of Ramadan? This is a very special month. Uh, for the Egyptians, all Egyptians uh, are working uh, and joining hands uh, to reach people who uh, need the most. So uh, in the blessed month of Ramadan, uh, NGOs are uh, preparing since months uh, to, to make the best input uh, that help people in the community. Uh, so. Um, Commun community assessments are uh, done. Uh, fundraising is uh, started uh, a long time ago. Uh, planning where to distribute. Uh, volunteers uh, join hands everywhere. And at the end, the project is executed and the citizens benefit. Uh, it is the most uh, important target to have uh, the most beneficiaries uh, uh, satisfied and uh, having the needs uh, uh, done uh, and uh, at the same time with love and with uh, happiness and with uh, uh, social uh, responsibility. Uh, Dr. Amani, also, uh, in your opinion, uh, what do you think should be done in order to, uh, uh, to uh, boost uh, or support the work of the NGOs in Egypt, not only in Ramadan, but throughout the year? NGOs mostly are working in the same areas of focus. Uh, if hands are joined and uh, efforts are joined to reach uh, the same targets, with the same uh, acceleration and under uh, 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 an umbrella uh, helping and uh, reaching uh, people in rural, rural areas, uh, this will help more to, to have the most impact uh, on the com community. This is uh, always our uh, target is to have an impact, uh, not only to have uh, little projects here and there, better to have uh, uh, the project uh, executed everywhere at the same time, uh, same uh, uh, target, same uh, focus, uh, and then you'll have the, your, your project executed in a very uh, special and very beneficial way to community. And this is the target. Uh, Dr. Amani, also if I can ask you, um, aside from uh, uh, sometimes lack of uh, resources or lack of uh, funds, what other uh, major challenges uh, might face uh, uh, non-profit uh, organizations or uh, NGOs? Uh, if you're working alone, uh, you will never uh, uh, achieve your target. So uh, the, the teamwork is not only a teamwork of people together in uh, every NGO, we are all connected, uh, I mean. Uh, now I'm living in uh, Cairo. If I need to execute a project uh, in, uh, if, I, if I need to execute a project in a very far area, in a rural area, I should be connected with an NGO there. So I work 
through them and I work with them. Uh, uh, at my place, I can fundraise, I can work with, uh, uh, with, with uh, people who, uh, who uh, have CSR, uh, I can uh, uh, plan, uh, maybe uh, I can get some good as an NGO that is not uh, uh, easily, uh, get, uh, they, they get there, but they have hand, hands there, they have their hands working there. So joining forces, uh, always the, pro uh, the project will be uh, better executed and uh, uh, the impact will be more in our uh, community. Uh, Dr. Amani, also, is there a significance uh, or uh, an impact uh, made by uh, uh, civil society or the NGOs in cementing social ties uh, between people? Uh, I didn't get the question. Can I? I mean, uh, uh, does it? The, does NGOs or uh, ch charitable organizations have a role to play when it comes uh, uh, to cementing social ties between people? Yes, of course. Uh, NGOs, uh, when uh, working on a project, it works uh, in a justified way with everyone. It's just the. Community assessment, uh, it's done in a very special way, and uh, NGOs try to reach people who can uh, give a hand, even if they are not uh, members in the NGO, uh, uh, they can, uh, if, uh, if they uh, are uh, notified and they have uh, a very well uh, uh, studied uh, community assessment, they can lead. So they can help more. And at the same time, uh, the service can be reached to people all over in a very justified way and uh, uh, in a social uh, serving uh, manner. Yes. So this makes a great uh, indeed, uh, and it connects people. Um, uh, Dr. Amani Shinawi, head of uh, civil society uh, organization or association, thank you so much for joining us and we wish you a very uh, happy and uh, Ramadan and Ramadan Kareem. And uh, dear viewers, Thanks. thank you. And dear viewers, by this we wrap up today's episode of the Breakfast Show. You're in the company of myself, Karim Gamaluddin, and my colleague, Karim, uh, my colleague, Tina Hussain. Until we meet again, this is goodbye.